Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the HGUC Full Armor Unicorn Gundam Destroy Mode Red Color Version. So that is a long title that I'm not looking forward to having to put in the title of these videos, so sorry about that, but really cool kit here. I I don't think uh, I've built a regular version of the HGUC Unicorn Gundam, so this is actually going to be kind of a first experience for me if I can remember correctly. I think that's right. Uh, I have built the Full Armor Unicorn Gundam in Master Grade form uh, twice but I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out in HG form. Some people say the HG is kind of the best form because the Master Grade can be kind of finicky. The HG um, doesn't have those problems and is nicely proportioned, so I, I do like that. But I like the uh, Kotoki styling of the Master Grade personally myself. But we'll go ahead and check this out. This is the new form. The original kit came with a uh, green cycle frame. This one now has red cycle frame, and it also has the addition of the Hyper Beam Javelin, which is a very welcome addition that honestly, the original kit should have had, but of course, Bandai wanted to make some more money by selling that as a like a manga pack-in, I think twice, maybe two or three times, that that was sold separately. Uh, sorry for those people who spent a lot of money to get that, because now you get it with the kit, here with your red psycho frame. So, uh, it looks really cool. This is a huge box. I mean, the front is just a normal size box, but here you'll see, as we take a look around to the side, that this is a very, very thick box. The size of a, uh, this is like the same thickness as the 1-100 scale, uh, well, Gray's Kai, Gray's Custom Box, so very deep, thick box here, very packed, full box. 199 in the HGUC lineup, so this is the last HGUC kit before we're going to have the uh, Hyakushiki Revive kit, so definitely looking forward to that one as well. Uh, here we can see on the side we're going to have the full armor unicorn Gundam there looking very... Uh, loaded out with weapons, more of a full weapon than a full armor, but hey, that's just the name. We do have some stands there for the fuel tanks on the back, but no stand for the Gundam, unfortunately. Kind of wish that would have been included, but uh, I guess we can't have it all. This box is already packed really full, so packing any more, any more full may be asking a little bit too much. So here we've got, they're obviously highlighting the Hyper Beam Javelin as that's the kind of uh, newest feature about this, but aside from that and the uh, red Psycho Frame, the other new thing that this kit does have is new marking stickers. So we've got some kind of RG style uh, marking stickers here for this. I think that's supposed to kind of go along with the RG Shinanju that's going to be coming out. So I think this is probably a pretty clear indicator that we're not going to be getting an RG Unicorn. Would be my estimate about the situation it was uh, because they're releasing this and this is like uh, kind of detailing it in RG style so that you can have this pose with your RG Shinanju because we're not going to get an RG Unicorn. That is kind of just my thinking about that. But uh, again, I could be wrong. We'll just have to wait and see. So here we can see we do have a, a stand, I believe, a stand there or three stands or three stands or one three stands that you can combine one of them into making anyway. The three shields to be going together like that, the funnel shields. Here's everything that's going to be included, a whole bunch of stuff there. I think We've got two different uh, versions of the Hyperbeam Javelin. I don't think it actually collapses. We've just got a collapsed form and a active form, and I think it's just uh, kind of one or the other. It doesn't actually move, if, if I uh, am correct in that estimation. And then just a bunch more here about some details about that. Uh, all this red parts there uh, for the missiles and stuff. I don't remember if that's parts or stickers. I believe that's... Uh, partially parts, partially stickers. We'll have to see. Anyway, so 3,400 yen for the price for this, I think is not bad. Uh, I think that's uh, pretty reasonable for how full this box is. It's got a lot of stuff in here, and uh, including a lot of clear parts, so I think that's a pretty fair price. So let's get into it, because we've got a lot of stuff to get through. So the first bag, there's our foil sticker sheet, which is very small, actually. I'm very pleased about that. Uh, some gray parts, the V-fin parts there, some clear uh, red, and it, the red looks very fluorescent. I'll have to check that out under UV light because I'm sure it's going to be very active there in the UV light. Some parts there, new parts for the, uh, well not new, but parts for the full armor stuff, just full armor stuff, full armor stuff, uh, full armor stuff, full armor stuff. And regular unicorn stuff in the white color, I don't know, I think the regular original unicorn was just a 
a regular plain white. This is definitely looks more like yellow tinted white, so I don't know how well you're seeing that on camera. But the white definitely looks like it has a little bit of a yellow tint to it. Red polycaps, that I don't also don't remember if the original had red polycaps, although I would imagine it would. It did. Uh, here we can see you got some uh, red parts there for those missiles, so that's good. Those aren't stickers. I was uh, worried about that. Uh, clear parts for the uh, hyper beam javelin effect parts. More clear parts here for the beam saber effect parts. Again, only two. It really, really should be four. Bandai just refuses to give four beam saber effect parts with any unicorn kit. It's just kind of annoying. There's a hyper beam javelin there. Looks like I was right. Uh, it has a closed form or an open form, so you just pick one of the two. Uh, more white parts, and there's our runner of the majority of our um, cycle frame parts and the stickers there. Very big sticker sheet. Should be looking pretty cool. And all of that. So then, finally here at the bottom, got a couple little adverts as usual, and then our nice HUC runner, uh, sorry, manual here. All this information here, great to see all that stuff. I like checking that out. Uh, and then just a nice big reference photo there on the front. On the back, some action and rear view images there. Then the marking guide. So where all the marking stickers are going to be going on this kit. And then at the bottom, our color guide. So there's all of that. Going to the inside, we're not going to have, I think, probably any extra information page because there's so much stuff to build. So it's just going to be all build, 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 build. Uh, the parts list is going to be something like this. There's going to be a couple of parts on the A runner we're not going to be using, a couple of parts on the B runner. One shield, interestingly, that uh, we're not going to be using, even though this kit has like three shields, you'd think they'd want to use them all. It looks like all of the three shields are all going to be located here on the WD runner, so I guess that shield is just different for whatever reason. We're not going to use that. There are a couple more parts here and there that we're not going to use. Uh, the build is going to start off with the body. First, so we're going to be building the body uh, as well as the backpack with the full armor kind of um, rig there on the backpack at the same time. Then on to the head and the arms, uh, left arm, right arm, then onto the feet and legs, left leg, right leg, then onto the waist, then onto all the weapons. So we're going to be building three sets of the uh, double beam Gatling guns, uh, then some shields. Shields, bazooka, hyper bazooka. Uh, we've got a few color pages here. Uh, color pages here for building so just some more weapons parts. Weapons, 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 fuel tanks, weapons, uh, weapons, all of that. The uh, uh, beam magnum and hyper beam javelin here. New building all of that. Fun, fun, fun. And then finally, uh, gimmicks. How to uh, kind of mount the shields onto these different things here, different parts uh, to make the shield funnels. And that's it. So we've got a whole bunch of runners here. Let's get into it. So starting off with our foil stickers here, we can see we've got the eyes, some green stickers there for some camera lenses. Uh, those white stickers there, not exactly sure where those are going though. It seems very familiar as I'm talking about this, but uh, runner uh, f uh, sorry, number five is those uh, pink circles. Those are going to be going, I uh, would assume, on the uh, beam Gatling guns, the cameras on those. And we have some red stripes. I believe those are probably going on the fuel tanks. Again, not totally entirely sure. We've got our marking stickers. Now these, as you guys know, I uh, often usually give these marking stickers away because I don't really prefer to use them. But for this kit, I think I may actually use them because this is actually like a... Uh, one of the big draws of the new version of this kit is all of these stickers. So just for the review purposes, I might actually just put these on the kit for you guys so you can actually see what these are like. Um, yeah. SB6 here in clear pink for our beam saber effect parts, just the shorter version 1044 scale beam saber effect parts. And then PC1232 here for our polycap runner here in red. Here's our A runner. We've got one yellow part there for the V fin, one cycle frame part here for the face, some dark blue parts there for the backpack and the feet, and then the rest is just a bunch of gray parts for some of the frame parts and joints that are not made by Psycho Frame. So there's all of that on there. The runner marking for this is going to be HGUC 1144 Unicorn Gundam. Here's runner B. Once again, a little slightly yellowish. 
uh, white color here. Of course, it's pretty much white, but it does seem to have a little bit of a slight yellow tone to it uh, this time. This is just obviously a whole bunch of white parts there. It's these shield parts that we're not going to be using for this kit, but everything else that we are going to be using. Uh, this runner, if you can see this here, hopefully you'll be able to see this, is uh, marked HG 144 scale Unicorn Gundam DM. So this one is actually marked specifically for the destroy mode here. And runner C is more white parts, and this one is also, once again, uh, labeled for the destroy mode, as these parts are specific to the destroy mode. And we do have two of this C runner. Then we have a few more gray parts here on the D runner, some thruster bells, bottoms of the feet, a couple of more kind of inner parts, and then the parts for the beam magnum. Then runner E is our psycho frame, and this is looking like a very fluorescent red color. Now, I... If I remember correctly, the original HGUC Unicorn Gundam that had a red inner frame, it was like more of a reddish pink. This is definitely looks a little bit more orange fluorescentish color. I don't think this is the same color. I'll have to check. I think I have a one that was given to me that by a friend that was like already snapped together. I think that maybe has the red frame. I'll have to check. Uh, but anyway, I'll get back to that. But look at how re re uh, reactive this is to UV light. I'm not sure how well you can see that on camera, but under UV light, Shining on that, it's going to light up very, very well. Then getting into the full armor parts here, WA1 is our red parts. This is definitely a really muted red color. Uh, and these runners are going to be labeled HGUC 144 Full Armor Unicorn Gundam. Then WB1 is a darker gray color here, just a bunch of parts for the uh, bazooka and the uh, beam gatling guns and all of that. We do have a runner uh, WB2 as well, which is a copy of this section here. Then we've got WC, which is a lighter, more just a standard color gray here. And then we have runner C2, which is a copy of this section of that runner there. Then we've got more white parts here, WD and WD1 kind of here on one runner there. Some fuel tank parts, the new shield parts are all here. And then we have a copy of this section of that runner for uh, one more shield and then more one more fuel tank. And then runner WF is going to be the parts for the stands and a few more uh, shield parts on here. Now going back to A, because this is labeled as runner A1 and A2, uh, for the Hyper Beam Javelin, I imagine this is the same runner that was included uh, when it was included with the manga because of the way that the runner is separated here, like that, to form runner A1 and A2. In the manga, it would have come like this, but now obviously they don't need to break up the runner because they have plenty of room in the box, so it doesn't need to come like that. But there's our parts for that. You can see this part that should be white on the Hyper Beam Javelin is just all gray. So I, that makes me think that this is just the same runner that was included with the manga before. Uh, then we have runner B. Uh, runner B is our beam saver effect parts, or sorry, our beam effect parts for the Hyper Beam Javelin. And these runners are labeled as uh, H, hopefully you can see that there, maybe we'll go back to the gray runner. Uh, HG. Uh, 144 scale Hyper Beam Javelin. So it's not labeled anything for the Flormore Gundam or anything like that. It's just labeled Hyper Beam Javelin for those runners there. So that's it for this lengthy unboxing of the Full Armor Unicron Gundam HG Red Psycho Frame Destroy Mode Kit. Very big thing. If you guys have any other questions or comments, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll see you guys in the review. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.